Do 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 do. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? I think we're live. I've been putting this off for a little bit because I've been kind of busy. But look at us. We're going to start Digital Descent today. And it's going to be an awful day. It's day one of streaming this level. It's going to be miserable. <laughs> but we're going to learn stuff, all right? We're going to learn some things about level. We're going to learn what I'm good at, what I'm bad at. I am terrible at Devin and Etzer still, no matter how much I practice. Hopefully I can get past Devin once. Hopefully I can get to Etzer. I think I can break 45%. I'm pretty sure. But today, the main point of today is to get consistent at the beginning of the level. That's what we're working on. And we'll practice a little bit at the end of the level too. But we're working on that beginning level consistency so that I can very consistently get to 50%. And then from there, we can do the middle parts because the hardest part is like 50 to 80. And then from there, we can move on, right? All right. I have a feeling... I, I, I didn't practice a whole lot of Digital Ascent recently, okay? I practiced a bit, but... I have a feeling this isn't going to take me as long as Artificial, because I'm already doing better than I was on Artificial Ascent, right? I need you both, so thanks for uh, staying in mind for two months, dude. Hey, Dad. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Everyone liked the stream. That's a, that's a great idea. Uh, so anyways, let's let's get going. Let us... What was... Where's the webcam? Let's just keep going. No sense in... Prolonging the inevitable. What are all these impossible EVW? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I recorded a video yesterday. It's going to be a good one. What do you think I'm going to get on my first attempt? I'm going to get past 10%. Oh, uh, yeah. I watched Anne's video on how to make digital ascent easier, and it was immensely helpful. With that said, though, the parts that are still hard for me, even though he helped correct a few things and he made the level easier, it's still really hard for me. 2%. Yeah, you never know. Yo, Ori, what's up, man? All right, let's go. I'm hoping first attempt I get 3%, at least. Well, the beginning's pre- <laughs> What a joke. I'm a joke. Wow. It's not what you want to see. It's not what you want to see, yeah. Oh my god. Too late. This is, this is what we're here for, though. We're here for, like, getting beginning consistency. Like, over... Like I said, this stream is going to be miserable. You're going to watch me cry. Oh my god. Should I update the title? Digital Descent 5%. We, we updated the title? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> that would be so sad. Oh my god. 95% to go. I mean, seriously, if we keep on making this progress, 1% every attempt, 100 attempts later, I'm going to beat the level, right? Ow. I'm eating pretzels while doing this. So it's, it's a bad idea. You guys hear a crunch? Oh, all right. All right. Oh, wow. Too late. <laughs> Come on. All right. Oh, that's that's a little better. Man, this level's gonna take me forever, though. There's a lot of little parts I died to. Not bad. Not bad. Still a long ways to go when it comes to getting consistency, though, you know? 
I would love to do Cybernetic Crescent. Man, the thing with Cybernetic that's crazy is that that's like people have a love-hate relationship with that level. Like some people play that level and they're like, wow, I love this. It's so amazing and unique. And some people play it and they're like, this sucks. It's like a love it or hate it kind of level, so. I would love to finish the technology uh, trilogy though, for sure. Okay. Yeah, the moving objects are kind of annoying in that part, but oh well. That's what I mean. We're here for that beginning consistency, right? Like just getting the feels. We're here. To, we're here to get the feels. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, yo, OG. Thanks for the two bucks, dude. Yeah, of course I remember you, man. How are you doing? Uh, Will. Thanks for the dollar as well. You guys are awesome. Rip men. I mean, I knew this stream is... I know what this is going to be. It's going to be... It's going to be miserable dying dying over and over again to the beginning, but we're, we're here for that consistency. Oof. I am pressing that button super late there. That's like the only hard input in that whole section. The other inputs aren't that bad. Oh, you can just like buffer that really. Um, or I've already done Slaughterhouse. I just forgot to record it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do it again, though. Nice. Why can't I fly through there? I just oops, man, forgot to record it. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, Will, thanks for the additional dollar, dude. No, I mean Slaughterhouse, the hardest demon in the game, yeah. Dude, it's like, that's the only one. The only input in that whole section that's hard. And I suck so bad at it. Oh my god! Dorami raid what? Like one person said it. I don't know if I believe it. Okay, 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 I'm getting it a little bit better. I, why do I, dude, usually I'm so good at flying. I, I usually never die to that part. Will, thanks the extra dollar, dude. PewDiePie raid, what? <laughs> PewDiePie raid, okay. Madman on the game. Thanks for the two pounds, dude. Hope you have a nice day. I hope you have a nice day, too. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people saying Dorami right now. I haven't seen Dorami, though, so I don't believe it, but hey. Oh my god, Digital Ascent. EVW raid, I raided myself. Whoa. What a narcissist. Man, I usually don't die to that. That's weird. Getting used to oh, you just buffer that. Why am I waiting like an idiot? Um, getting used to the beginning slowly but surely. I can feel the consistency coming. This is the first time I've tried attempts from zero percent. So please forgive me while I absolutely get spanked by this part. Even though this part is actually pretty easy compared to some of the rest of the level, but it's it's all about just getting that consistency. You know what the heck? Who decided to put moving objects in this level? There we go.
Dude, what? Just happens. Okay, cool. Let's just get there consistently. Now keep in mind, like keep this in mind. The first time I streamed Artificial Ascent, I think I got like 20 something percent. That was like the maximum I got. Like I really underestimated the level. And to be fair in Artificial, there's a lot of really hard parts at the beginning, but. But you know, like I'm hoping to do better than that. Dude, I just barely didn't get over it. Okay, cool, cool. We're, we're getting there, dudes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, what? I don't know why I'm dying to the flying part. Like, I... Usually didn't die to that. Sometimes I wouldn't practice, but I usually wouldn't. Normal mode just feels so different, you know? Is Eric bald? No, I just... Definitely not bald. Whoever says that's a liar. I have long flowing hair. Dude, I can't believe I didn't correct myself properly. Uh, the thing is my hair is so beautiful I just can't show it on stream people get jealous man I can't believe I didn't correct myself properly it kind of sucks well, it happens you know <laughs> I was going to say consistency's coming, but no. Wow. I should get to a point, hopefully this stream, where I'm getting past that ball part like almost 100% of the time, you know? Like I should get past Kip's part most like 100% of the time. And sometimes die here. But I'm dying there a lot, that ship part. Okay. Yeah, we're, it's coming, you know? Ouch, dude. Come on. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Dude, this is going to be, this is going to be so such a nightmare. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, dude. I'm getting too old for this. Dude, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. The goal is, yeah, I would, may, I would love to get 45% today, which is like halfway through Devin's part. That's my goal. If I can get there, I'll be happy. Anything extra is just fluff. Shoot. More practice. Dude, I've practiced a lot. <laughs> okay. I will practice soon, but I've practiced a lot. That's a bit of a nightmare, huh? That's really tight. I don't hit the green orb at Etzer's ship, no. I, I do the other strat. The green orb is so stupidly hard. The other strat where you just like go down is way easier. hitting that orange jump orb too late it is hard to time that though you're going down as the black orb because like it's fast man me and black jump orbs we don't we don't really get along you know the consistency is coming cool Oh, dude, I missed the green orb. <laughs> God damn. That was, that was good. That was good progress. Okay. Cool. Not bad. Getting there. I mean, the beginning of the level is easier than the end of the level. Although the part I died to is pretty tricky. Um, Yo, Kai. I appreciate the kind words about taking a break and stuff, but I have been taking it easy this year. Really. I think this is the year that I've worked the least and I've been spending a lot of time with my kid. It's been great. Um, and you guys are showing me massive support, even though I've been relaxing a lot of the views on the videos have still been doing really good. So you guys have been supporting me still. It's great. But yeah. What's my mouse? My mouse's name is uh, Sally. I call her Sally. Okay, that was good. The consistency is coming. Dude, why did I do that? Was, that was such a dumb death. Woolsey, what's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, Monsi, thanks for the 35 czar. In case you fluke the level, please don't forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do pre I do play it like that now, Monsi. Um, I do just buffer the input and jump. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's take a break from normal mode. Just a little bit. Let's... I'll show you guys the end and end of this level. Am I enjoying this one? I mean, I pretty much just started, so like so far, yeah. But that's gonna change at some point. <laughs> this is what the end of the level looks like.
Dude, that is such a fast input. You have to buffer that so early. If I die there in normal mode, which I very well might, I'm going to be so sad. Like, I'm going to choke so hard. Uh, Waltman, thanks for $2. And yeah, Aeon's video helped me a lot. Yeah. Dude, man, what? Didn't hit that fast enough? That's lame. Dude, I buffered. What? Can you actually miss that? I want, you might actually be able to miss that. That's... Wow. That's rough. Seriously. What? Do I play other games? Yeah. You know what game I'm playing a lot off stream when I get time? I'm playing a game called Slay the Spire, which is a roguelike card game. And it's really fun. Um, similar to Geometry Hunter, though, it's very frustrating. I love Slay the Spire, but it's such a frustrating game. Oh my god. I usually do this ending like really fast. I'm sucking quite a lot at it though right now. I don't know why. Ouch, dude. It's rough. Slay the spy runs go to shit really easily. Yeah, they do. I'm on a I'm on Ascension 19 right now, and I can't beat it for the life of me. I've tried it like like 12, 13 times. So hard. Oh, dear, dude. Oh, my God. Imagine dying to that. <laughs> Whoa. This level looks easy, but it's hard at the same time. This level's just got tricky parts. This level's really unbalanced. That's all I'll say. Very unbalanced. Okay, let's practice the beginning, because I'm not ever going to get there today. Like, at all. We just want to get to Etzer. That's the goal. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. I mean, someone asked me what games I play. So right now I'm playing Slay the Spire and it's fun. How about you guys? What games do you guys play? A lot of people ask me about Deltarune. I have not played Deltarune. I played a lot of Undertale. Not played Delta Rune. Here it's great. But here it's only chapter one, isn't it? Ouch, dude. I'm always so low. Um, yeah, I have Elden Ring. I just haven't played it. <laughs> Cuphead? Cuphead's a great game. Dude, it's that UFO part blows my mind. Gotta hit that really early. Oof. I find Sam Fang's part pretty easy. 
I've tried Celeste, yeah. I haven't beaten Chapter 9 Celeste yet, though. Um, the Farewell Chapter didn't go... I, I was just really bad at doing, like, that trick where you'd, like, slide, jump off the ground or whatever. I don't know. I'll come back to it at some point, but... Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a good game. It's a really good game. See, that is a really tight flying section. Like, that's hard, but there is a really consistent click pattern. It's just a matter of, like, yeah, getting through there. Nice. Dude, come on. <laughs> uh, Jongo Dongo. Yo, thanks for the 20 bucks, dude. The woman I thought I would marry dumped me recently and is already with another and your videos are helping me not stress much over it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Thanks for the $20, dude. Uh, yeah, that shit sucks, man. I was in a relationship when I first moved to Korea. Like, not my wife, but my first girlfriend here for almost a year. And, uh, you know, I loved her. And uh, we didn't have plans to get married, but it was kind of like, maybe, you know, if it kept on going well. And then, like, she broke up with me. She's like, oh, my family knows about a relationship and she was keeping it a secret because she was dating a foreigner. And that was, whoa, taboo. Because, you know, I was in a kind of rural place in the country. And then she's like, I got to break up with you because my family wants me to have a kid. And, you know, we were pretty in love. And then she got married like a month and a half later and got pregnant like a month after that. And I was like, holy shit, she moved on real quick. And it sucked ass, dude. So I get you, man. It sucks. Sucks ass, man. I was like, holy fuck, like. Like insane, like how fast she got married because her, her family wanted her to have a kid, you know, insane. Anyways, crazy, man. And I, I get you. Life is life is rough sometimes, man. Ooh. Why well, I try Sonic Grave? I'll tell you what. I can somehow pass Digital Descent. We'll talk about it. Oh, dude. Fire Prince is pretty easy overall. But I sometimes die to that wave. Robot jumps are pretty chill. And then you do it. And then the level just... And then the level gets crazy. Okay? And then the level goes just absolutely bananas. This is so hard. Oh man, really? Like, it's so tight in there. You gotta hit this one, like, the blue jump orb so late. And then that is so hard, too. And then that's just, this part is so hard. I would love to get to it right here. Like, if today we could just die to that, I'd be so extremely happy. I'd be so happy about that. Just getting to here. Like, the level goes crazy here. Like, Devin and Etzer together are the hardest parts for me. The other parts of the level I can do decently. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, it's so hard. And then this is just like you jump down here and usually you're supposed to hit the green orb and then go through. But like that barely ever works. So you go past it and then hold down the button and you go up. But then the problem is, is I try to wiggle in a wave too fast going out of it. So then like I press the button like on the second input going down really crazy. So like if you hit the green jump orb, the problem is, is you go, you're an upside down ship. 
and then you become an upside down wave and then it adds an extra input because you got to like you let go and then you hold and then you let go and then you hold and it's a whole extra input instead of just clicking and letting go going down and then it's very easy to hold down the button and then you jump as the robot when you switch when you hit whereas like this way when you avoid the green jump orb you don't have to worry about any of that it's so much easier but it's but it's still really hard As you guys can see, you gotta jump into that properly, you know? It's so ridiculous, dudes. I always go too early there, man. It's so hard. But then once I transition into it, I'm decent. It's just, just that one part is so hard. Dude, I'm lagging something fierce at this part, too. Wow. Like, stream... Like, when I'm not streaming, I don't lag here. But when I'm streaming, I am. A little bit. Okay, I'm kind of getting it a little bit better. It's still... Wow. It's still rid ridiculously harder than the rest of the level, though. I'm hitting the green jump orb as I'm going by it, you know? Wow. It's... Oof. Ugh. And I'm pressing the button too quick when I'm going down. Like, it feels like I want to, like, kind of spam down a little bit, but uh, it's just so weird. You know, this is Cybernetic Crescent. Um, I don't know, but I, I want, I mean, I want to. Uh, it depends on skills and stuff, though. But, I, yeah, I would love to. Uh, cheers. Oh, my God, dude. And then it chills out a little bit. The guy is this pretty tricky, actually. Not as hard as Etzer's, though. Oh, okay. I shouldn't be dying to that. I wonder if there's a way to make that easier. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, that was an alright attempt. Ugh. Oh, what am I doing? You gotta, sli <laughs> you gotta slide there. What am I doing? I haven't practiced this part that much, so. Wow, that was pretty bad. Okay, so this part is wild because the hardest part about Laser Blitz's part is just the ship. You gotta like, you jump into the portal and then you press down the button like less than you think you have to to go up. And then you just, it's like just two inputs. One, it's like jump, one, jump, one, two. But you got to be really good on your, like, momentum, you know? Okay. So that was all right. This part is really hard. <laughs> like, at the end of the level, this is the part that's probably going to kill me a lot. Yeah. I'm lagging a little bit here, too. Wow. Why am I lagging, dudes? Oof. I'm lagging a little bit though, that's rough. That's really hard because that part there, you gotta go out like as early as possible to fly over that spike. And it's really easy to overshoot it. It's so hard, yeah. Oof. Yeah, sometimes I go there too early because there's actually a part where you slide. Oh, you die though. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay. Shoot. And then uh, Kermal's part is just like fast wave, which I suck at. So you gotta hit, you gotta hit both those switches, but the switches are pretty like open. Oh, but you gotta go up early. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy, thanks for the ten bucks, dude. Holy shit, you got 61 just starting it. That's pretty wild. 
in three days. Been having a hard time finding motivation for GD, but your vids. That's awesome, dude. Dude, that's awesome. 61? Hell yeah. That's like, that's a past debt, sir. That's bananas. GG's, dude. Um, why is that portal still there? It looks like it hit both the switches. I guess not. So once I... Yeah. Once I get to this part, once I get past Kermal, I should have a good chance of beating the level. Because that's like, that means we're at the end, right? The wave uh, corridors are really weird in this part. Like, why is that still there? I swear, it looks like I hit both those switches. Bam, bam. Uh, and then it goes to the end, which I showed you guys already. Which, to be fair, is one of the easier parts of the level, but you can still die. Oh, I jumped too late, really? That sucks. That'll be stressful. I mean, this part right here is, like, really hard. Once I get past Kermal's part is easier than this. This is one of the hardest parts of the level. If I can get past this, it'll be nervous. I'll start getting nervous, yeah. It, it doesn't help that this part is lagging, man. Like, why is this part lagging? Ooh, I, I didn't think I was going to make that. Oh. What? Why am I... Dude. I usually don't die that pink jump orb. What? Okay. Weird. Oof. Dude, those corners are so weird, man. With like... It doesn't just go down to like a point. There's like a point in the middle. It's like a W corridor, but you don't actually make a W pattern. Ugh, yikes, man. Okay, but what am I doing? I'm getting way far ahead of myself here. But anyways, I just want to show you guys that, like, I'm decent at other parts of the levels, like, you know, laser blitz and stuff. Um, I can... I can do them. But the hardest part for me is still Devin and Etzer, which, for some reason, Aeon's like... Aeon's like, those parts aren't that hard. You'll get them. They get consistent. I'm like, I don't believe you! It's so f yeah, it's super fun and consistent until Etzer. Yes, I'm sure Devin's part gets consistent. I, I agree with that. Etzer's part, man, I I disagree. I don't I don't I don't know if Etzer's part will ever get consistent for me. Oh, dude, those spikes, rough. It's just parts like a brick wall. It is. It's so hard, dude. So, like, anytime I get past Etzers, I'm going to start getting nervous, no matter what. This Lugayas is pretty hard, too, though. Lugayas is pretty bananas. Um, um, it's just there's so much to die to, you know? Dude, you can actually hit that twice. Wow. Ooh, that spike. Oh, yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, okay. Cool. Like, I I'm pretty confident in, like, all the level. 
you know, like, I'm not scared of it, I should say, even though, like, there's hard parts that I died to a lot. But this, this transition right here, that's, that's so disgusting. That's just sick. There's more DD or AA. Um, well, Digital Ascent is, people consider harder. Some people, though, consider a harder. Depends on who you talk to. Like, Aeon thinks A is harder than Digital Ascent. I don't know. Once I beat it, I'll talk about that. I'm just not deep enough into this level to give an opinion, really. Um, Aideny, thanks for the 250 yen, though. Appreciate that. Well, thanks for the support, guys. You guys are awesome. Another day grinding. This is the first day grinding. But many, many more to come. I always go up way too fast there, man. man yeah i gotta do like longer strokes man okay kind of getting a little better Oof. oh my god dude what a, what an absolute nightmare okay let's practice devin a little bit Okay, so that's where I want to get to. Like that exact death. Like if I can get there, I'm good. So let's practice like some parts leading up to that. What? what wow. Wow, I hit the black jump orb. Damn. Practice this part well, once more. That's where we died to. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go back into normal. 2249 attempts. Wow. Normal already. I think a lot of those were from back in the day, though. Like right after I played Artificials. Like, I'm going to beat this, and then I gave up on it. that I guess that wasn't that long ago yeah I guess you wouldn't call that back in the day I mean almost a yeah like 10 months ago that was a weird death dude I don't know it's like a brain fart I thought I was gonna hit the portal I just that's just thought I thought I had enough oomph Dude, really? <laughs> Come on. I made it past the hard part. That's a new record, though. 36%. Cool. I'll take that.
Yeah, I know. I got a new record by like 1%. Yay. Yeah, that was close because I would have gotten to Viperin's part, and Viperin's part's pretty chill. Except for the wave. The wave can be tricky. Dude, how do I not have enough oomph on it? I made the first jump, but not enough to make the second. Oof, come on. I love the song on this level. This level's really cool. Like, thematically, like the way it looks. Like, I love the way this part looks. Really cool. And the song is just, like, epic. Good. Spider part's so easy. Oh, really? Creo Carnivores. That's right. That's the song. Creo Carnivores, yeah. It's really good. Like, I love the way the song ends, too. The as the title card pops out, or the end card. So cool. Dude, I suck. Ouch. You stupid spike. Unbelievable. I just... Oh! You need help with GF. Ender boy, man. I don't know if you need help with your GF or you need help finding a GF. I don't know, but... I'll have to give us some more details, dude. Uh, yo, Ilya, thanks for the, uh, 20 pounds. You're trying to beat the ADDCC? I would love to, yeah. I mean, that would be amazing. But if I actually will be able to, who knows. Uh, Violet Sky, thanks for the 10 months. Yeah, I missed you too. It it's good to be back. I'll be trying to grind this a lot. So you guys, you guys are stuck seeing me. Now that I've started, you guys are stuck seeing me often, okay? You have no choice but to be here. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Violet Scott. Thank you, Ilya. You guys are awesome. You hit a roadblock when it comes to your extremes. The thing that Kerber is like, I thought I was going to hit a roadblock like after I beat Bloodbath. Um, but you just kind of, you just dive into stuff that's harder and you'll, you, you're going to shock, you're going to shock yourself. All right. You, you guys, you shock yourself at how good you can get. Oh, ha, ha, ha,
Dude, come on! What? I went up too fast, sir. No! I think that part expands and there's a bunch more room. You, you just gotta get into there. Why'd I reef it down there? Wow. Not good. Do I have any good X to 100 runs? I haven't really tried any X to 100 runs, really. I think uh, off stream, I went like Kermal to the end, which was like 70 something to the end. Yeah. Pretty sure I've done like the beginning of Kermal to the end. Yeah. Yeah, I did it once. Um, So that's it. 70 something, 70 to the end, 73, four, I don't know. Uh, yo, Beanable, thanks for the $2, appreciate that. Cheers. I just need to, today is all about, it's the very first time I've streamed this level. It's just all about getting consistent at the beginning, which I'm already more consistent than I was. Progress has already been made, although it's slow with me because I'm a slow learner in my old age. Oh my god, dude. I just... I have a hard time seeing a visual marker on that, and it's all about feel because of all the moving objects. It's just that one input is that's hard at the ball. The other inputs are so chill. Like, so chill. Oh man, I wonder why I don't hit that sometimes. Because I feel like if you get the first UFO input, like you should be able to get the second. But uh, sometimes you just don't. Oh my God, that's so bad. What? You idiot spider. Why didn't you hit the orange jump orb or jump pad? What happened? Man, there's so much room there. I I just barely hit it. Cause I was I'd straighten myself out, but just not enough. That's come on, that's so easy. So easy. I usually don't die the straight fly. I died to some other parts in samifying, but not the straight fly. And when I say so easy, I don't mean just a general like sweep of easy. I just mean like for my skill, like that part's easy. Like clearly for some people that's very hard, right?
Oh, you just got to hit that right away. I was like, I'm going to wait a little bit because sometimes I go too far. Oof. That sucks. Hey, we're almost at the goal, though. I set the goal to 45%, which is like somewhere in Devon. Yo. Yo, we're at 39. Cool. It's all right. We're, we're getting we're getting to that goal, yeah? I like levels so far. Um, the parts that I like, I really like. And then there's some parts that piss me off. This this level is like a level that has like a bunch of choke points. So, like overall, I'm pretty sure. Like I, the parts that are good, I really enjoy. But my god, dude. Some parts are a nightmare. My god. My favorite extreme so far is Artificial Ascent. Man, I had so much fun playing Artificial. I gotta say, I don't think this level is as fun as Artificial so far. Anyways. Artificial Ascent just was so fun. It was so good. I don't know why. It was, it was just so fun to play. Like, I never... I mean, I had moments where I got annoyed. That was because you play a level for so long, like two months, and eventually, like, you reach a breaking point, right? However, like, every time I played it, like, I really enjoyed it, right? Music sync and artificial is great. It is good, yeah. Really good. Imagine if I died in 98. Yeah, it could. Man, that... The ball part's so easy except for that stupid moving object. Oh, it's it just gets some under my skin, man. Whew. I'm, uh, I'm dying there quite a lot, like not correcting myself properly. It's very weird. Uh, Diamond, thanks for the five bucks. Working on Blade of Justice. First, that's that's a pretty crazy first extreme. But you got 54%. That's cool. And you've done 3,200. All right. Um, I have considered doing it. I have. I've just not gotten around to it, you know? Um, that's, a, that's a very tough level. Yeah, for a first extreme. I wish you the best of luck. Um, seems like you're making great progress on it, though, so. Cool. It's, it's quite epic, you know? It's quite the epic jump.
Oh, oh. That's so hard to tell. Dude, I've died to the straight fly like three times. Oh, and it's not that hard. Uh, yo, Gazal, thanks for 50 kroner. Congrats on Nine Circle X. Appreciate that. Nine Circle X was very hard for me to do. So hard. hit it too fast dude i hit it too fast what do i think digital sense fun to play it's too early to tell there's a lot of fun moments it definitely doesn't scratch the itch like artificial did though artificial i found was really fun to learn um digital sense so far has been some parts are really fun and some parts are really frustrating so but some parts flow really well. too late okay cool well that's a new record we got to devon nice i'll take it 44 cool that was good uh yo and your tips did come in handy a lot appreciate it. i still have an insanely hard time with etzer though yeah no i wanted to get 45 percent today and just got 44 wow Wow. Yeah, like I'm honestly with your tips, I am much better at Etzer than I was. I'm just still like pretty inconsistent, yeah. Better than I was though. Oof. Wow, made it through that transition, nice. Made it through that, made it through the transition, yeah, cool. After Devin, nice. Let's go back to normal. Like that's really all I wanna get today, yeah? Just want to get 45%. And then once I get 45%, we'll just start practicing. We'll do, do we'll try some runs at the end or something. Uh, Yon Derry, thanks for the two bucks. You're going for Goner as a first extreme. Dude, I just am unfamiliar with Goner, man. Don't know much about it, but good luck. Thank you so much for the uh, support.
Oh my god, that's the real Eric Van Wilderman in chat. Did you see it? That's the real Eric Van Wilderman. Uh, Trampy, thanks for the 22 kroner, dude. It's Norway's national... T nice! Congrats! That's cool. Uh, congrats to uh, my fellow Norwegian fans. Uh, you endure, thanks for the additional $2. It's a relatively new extreme. That's cool. It's very cool. Nice. UVW in chat. Whoa, when did he get here? That guy's awesome. Oh my god, the real EVW? Are you American Faro, dude? How's it going? Thanks for the five bucks, man. Hope you're doing good. Oh, that was so stupidly bad. Uh, Adon, thanks for uh, staying a member for two months. Be bloodbath. Nice. Let's get a GG's for that. That's, that's amazing. I'll do what should do for next start. It depends on like how much of a jump you want to make. You know, I haven't done much stuff harder than bloodbath. You know, I've done like three levels harder than bloodbath, maybe three. So, I mean, artificial sand is great. It's a big jump, but great helps you get good at the game it's so fun i would recommend that if you're willing to do a bit of a jump because it would make you better but if you don't want to make that much of a jump there's always phobos which i did and as for anything else i don't know because i haven't played it uh yon dory thanks for the two bucks the additional two dollars nice thanks for all the donations either goner or wasadeta you just have both all right so goner is a pretty tough one then isn't it uh, yo, Violet, thanks for the additional $2. Did I see the Sineways update? And will I rebeat? Um, I, I know there was an update. I just don't know what was updated about it, though. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'll rebeat it. We'll see. I do like Sineways. I think it's a great circles level. It's one of the best ones. So maybe I should, just for the funsies. Yeah. Uh, Joey, thanks for the uh, two euros. You just beat Aftermath. Nice! Starting your Zodiac ladder. That's awesome, dude. Dude, Aftermath is a big accomplishment. That is, that's hard, man. This is the, it's just, it's so beginning heavy. It gets so frustrating. The wave and then the ship. Although I do like the ship at like 40%. It's hard though. The wave I did not like. <laughs> Didn't like. And destroys your finger because the ship at the beginning is not hard, but it just, it wrecks your finger like right away. Uh, American Fire would just be 2e2 v2. Nice. Dude, that was like my first insanely hard achievement. And uh, must feel good, dude. Thanks for the five bucks. Love it. 2e2 v2. What a classic. Uh, Yandere, thanks for the additional $2. Both are main list. Oh, wow, yeah. Your hardest is a medium demon. That's insane, dude. That's a big jump, but honestly, it'll make you way better at the game, but it might make you go crazy. And Pacific, thanks for the donation, dude. Yeah, that's 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 quite the jump. I mean, it's been done before, It's but it's like... That's insane, yeah. Uh, some people... Uh... I didn't quite catch the name. What should your first insane demon be? Dude, I dude, go for Windy Landscape just because it's so good. A little bit on the easier side of insanes and it gets you ready for other harder levels. worst death I've had all day just you can jump so early there and I just watched as I went right into that spike <laughs> holy shit uh yeah Cedar, thanks for the five dollars dude good luck in digital send cool thanks for the good luck I'm gonna need it because it's got some hard parts yeah currently working on supersonic nice you got 65 percent if you can get there you can get it because the ending is really consistent other than like the part that I think you died to, which is the transition into the ship from like the duel. And the that, like ship part, the duel and the ship part's really frustrating. And then the ending's pretty consistent, yeah.
Oof. Oof. Vera reads my message. I'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, DJ bot main. It's it's time. You caught my eyes at the exact right time. Now now you're committed. No going back. No backsies. We will be checking. Oh yeah, I guess I could put forty four percent in the title. Yeah, digital descent. Okay, screw it. Yeah, we're. We're at the point where it's not embarrassing to put my record in the title. <laughs> Hypersonic is a great extreme. I don't know about like a, a beginner extreme though. It's because the ending is so stressful. I always like to recommend like AQ and Cataclysm, you know? And then I, I always recommend Hypersonic as like a great second extreme. But I guess it's a good beginner extreme too, you know? It's a good choice. upside down so I went I need to go down further yeah I should have just been able to read that yeah. that's a pretzel time for a pretzel on dairy thanks for the two bucks the stereos was gonna be the extreme but lag on 60 hertz oh okay that sucks it sucks when the levels like don't work on specific hertzes hopefully that's fixed in 2.2 what's a good first demon dude do all the rob top demons first Hundred percent. Other than Rob Top Demons, dude. I don't know. A good like first easy demon. I don't know, man. Any really. If you want something that'll make you better, like a challenging one, you can try Crunchy Apple. It's an alright one. Watching for years, love your channel. My end goal is Bloodbath as of now. Beat a couple easy demons, but I still struggle with any dual parts. Any tips? Uh, Mohammed, thanks for the $10. Dual gameplay is all about... It's impossible to focus on both game modes at the same time. Sometimes you have to, but that's pretty rare. Usually if you focus on one, you don't have to focus on the other. You just got to kind of know in your head what the other one's doing. So, like, choose which game mode. Choose which one you're going to focus on. And then just go with that. And then it's all like muscle memory. Like you gotta you gotta focus on one or the other. Sometimes you gotta switch your focus between the two, like in really hard duels, but for easy demon duels, it should just be like focusing on one or the other, yeah. Dude, that thing juts down so far. All right. Getting consistent at the beginning. That was the goal today, right? Sometimes hit that too late. Bad habit. Well. Wow. 
That's so... <laughs> that sucks, come on. Uh, Kungam Danny, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the 10 euros. Appreciate that. I thought you at least get 50%. I would love that. Man, if we got over 50% today, I would be so happy. What am I going to complete unnerved stare demoness? Probably never. I love watching people do stuff like that and complete ex insanely difficult levels, but not for me. Uh, props to the person that did it, though. Oh, dude, I was way off on that. Ouch. easier than artificial um the thing is the beginning of this level is the easiest part of the level whereas in artificial artificial starts out with a bit of a bang there's some pretty hard parts um but this level like i would say there's no parts in artificial ascent that are as hard as etzer's part in this level or the devon like the wave in the devon for sure maybe michigan in artificial and that's it other than that, like, there's some really hard parts towards the end of this level. Like, 50 to 80 is really... 50 to 80 in this level is really hard. Like, re insanely hard. A uh, beatable thanks for the five bucks, dude. If I die far into the level, just say it happened because you were jam... I was jamming out too hard. Ex there you go. The song was too good. I agree. The song's great. Uh, Fox, what's up, dude? How's it going? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me what's up. Because I'm pretty sure I can guess. The ceiling! Such a good joke. What's up, guys? Some new people flooding in here. Yo, how's it going? Welcome. So, f I know, it's such a funny joke. I need to find a new new dad joke. That one's just getting old, you know. Ah. Oh, it's getting yeah, no, it's it's only getting old now, Ori, okay. It was fresh until this moment. Come on.
I'm being so weak with my inputs is my problem. Need to refund that button harder, you know? What is up with that, man? Guys, give me funny video ideas. Okay, I'm too lazy to think of anything. I'm getting creatively bankrupt. Just name me some really funny ideas for videos. Hey, G, thanks for the uh, Ochan 1. Appreciate that. If I consider doing Sonic Wave, I would, I mean, I'd love to. Um, but Wave is my worst game mode. And Sonic Wave looks bananas. But I'll certainly try. Jumping from Bloodbath is not bad. Oh, that's cool. You made it to the last wave from drop yesterday. Magic tab. I actually was thinking about doing a magic tab video next. I was thinking about doing like sending levels from the magic tab. I've done it before and it was fun. Ever consider just unlisting these streams after instead of removing them? It depends. Sometimes I put stuff from the stream into videos. Sometimes we'll talk about controversial topics and like, you know, it depends on the stream, Ori. Like I'll keep this one up because it's my first attempt at digital ascent for sure. It just kind of kind of depends on a lot of stuff. The recent tab, but it isn't the recent tab. Beat wave challenges. Oh, that's a good idea because I suck at the wave. I get better at the wave. Eat pie. Okay. Play Halo. I do stream Halo on Twitch a lot. <laughs> I think what I got to do is I need to update, like, I made a video, like, five years ago now, like, 2017, like, how to get better at Geometry Dash, and then I've made some videos, like, to go after that to accompany it, but I think I need to revisit that video, and I need to, I think I need to remake it. Like, I need to make a new video of, like, how to get better at Geometry Dash, but it being, like, updated to 2022 with now that I know way more about the game, things that you can use to get better. Why am I pressing that? Too late. Yeah, I've done three so far. In the series. I did like my original one. And then I did the ones after that, like for hard demons. Wait. Maybe I, did I only do two? Maybe I've only done two. I thought I did insane demons one. Maybe I, I meant to do it and I didn't? Oh no. I forget. Oh dude, why do I sometimes go so high there? I only did two. I meant to do a third one. I thought I did it and I just never did it. Because I was going to do Insane Demons. Like mention, like, cause I always mention play Windy Landscape. Everyone always asks me what's a good first insane demon. I'm always like, play Windy Landscape. So I'd explain why and show you how to do it and stuff. And we just work our way through some like insane demons, you know? I sure wish I was more consistent at this mini ship.
Oh, I just I pressed it late. It sucks. Well. I pressed the button too early there. They could buffer that. I guess not. I should do a fake 2.2 release vid like the 2.1 vid. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, like, uh, my old classic, Beanable, by the way, thanks for the donation. The old classic, uh, when will 2.1 come out? And I do like all the math equations, like it's gonna come out on this day. Um, that's, that's a classic, but I got a lot of heat for that video. Not everyone saw the humor in it. Mini at the top. What are you doing, Mini? I'm so out of control. Uh, Nico, thanks for the five dollars. Good luck in getting some sleep. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, it's uh, I'm gonna have fun grinding this, you know. It's gonna be frustrating, but the thing is, is I already know what I'm getting myself into. Like, I know there's a lot of choke points. It's not something that's going to come out of the blue ooh, and I'm not going to be ready for it. So like I'm ready for that, which means I feel like it'll be less frustrating, like going into it, just knowing there's already going to be choke points. What happens? Did I press that too late? Must have been too late. Well, we're getting there a decent amount of times. Okay. Even though I have died to that wave a few times and I normally don't. We're getting that sweet consistency and it's all good. It's all good. Progress is still being made. We don't even realize it. Kidding me, man.
fourth time dying to that straight fly. I have no reason. What? Why? Come on, why? I think I went up too high there. Like, it's just a little click and I went, I went like straight into, okay. I know what I'm doing wrong there. That's, that's let's, do, I'm going to go practice that, I think. Uh, Violet, thanks for the additional $5. Going for Black Blizzard as your fifth extreme. New hardest, that's insane. 60 hertz, Black Blizzard. It's pretty crazy. You died at 88. Oh, dude, 88. Yeah, that sucks. That's so close. Was is 88 at the flying part at the end where it's like the where you're in the I guess you're in the blizzard the whole time, but the screen's like kind of pulsing. You got moved to legacy, so you lost motivation. Oh yeah, that's rough. Yeah, the, the demons list move so fast. I mean the thing is you beat Black Blizzard, it's still an insane achieve achievement. Like even if it's off the list, like you don't have to worry about that. It's still a great achievement. I remember watching Bloodbath fall off the list, you know. As I was beating it, so. And Skycubix, thanks for the Ochan one. Done well. How's it going? You should post a poll again about how long it'll take to beat this level. That's right. Yeah, yo, I should. How about I do that today? Like, you're so close to beating it, Violet. There's no point in quitting now. Anyways, yeah, Sky, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Post a poll, uh, tonight. Wow. I'm a cube, look at me go. I'm a cube, look, like, come on, go! What am I doing? What, what am I doing? What am I doing? What, whoa, whoa, whoa! So low. And of course I get through the wave like first try and practice, you know. Ooh, that ship is hard. Getting it. Wow, what? It's really easy to actually hit that button too early, yeah. Ooh, it's so easy to go up. That's the hardest part is just getting into there.
Okay, cool. I, th I just want to get to that part. Just, I just, just, we just got to get there. 45%. And I'm probably going to call it quits. For today, anyways. Practice a lot. We'll come back in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow night, even. Oh, dude. I'm just so bad at flying tonight. Come on. And next time I stream this, I'm probably not going to stream with my good lights on my face because my eyes are, like, killing me. Oh, dude, my ship control is just so bad today. I don't know why. Normally, I'm really good at ship. Like, come on, dude. Oh, that hurts so bad. I don't know why. It's like the momentum uh, correcting yourself from like going up and down, right? Um, Going into the straight fly. For some reason, it messes me up. Ugh. A straight fly shouldn't be killing me, though. Like, I normally do not die to that. It's pretty easy. My ship gameplay is just so terrible today. For the first time in history, I'm doing better at the wave than I am at the ship. Like, I hit the button. I, maybe what I'm going to have to do is usually I just slide along the bottom and then hit the orb as I get to it. I might have to do the double input. Normally, I don't have a problem with that, though. I might have to do the... Because you're supposed to do a double input. Like, you're supposed to, like, click once to go up and then into it. And even though it's, like, a little harder, it's way safer. I might just have to do that. What 
in there? I normally don't... I must have died by like a frame because I was right at the edge of that. Oh, jeez, that sucks ass. That's a bad death. I normally don't die to that. Yeah. Aidan, thanks for the five bucks. Do I have any tips for GD content creation? Just kind of upload my completions. I really wish I could do some... Could be someone cool. Uh... Yeah, that's that's a tough question. Um, honestly, I mean, most people that do GD on YouTube just upload completions. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But it's nothing like it isn't anything special, though, right? Like you'll it, your channel will be very hard to grow if you're just doing completions, um, unless you're doing like the top hardest stuff in the game, right? Uh I would say just kind of show off the stuff that you like doing. And add some commentary to it. Give your thoughts and opinions on what you're doing. Um, if you want to make it fun, like my content is just, I just do silly stuff, you know? That's my whole appeal. Uh, I'm not cool, you know? But I just do like silly stuff on YouTube. People enjoy it. And I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing like silly random stuff, you know? As for like... I don't know. Like if you're into like a m the more serious side of the game, you could do like kind of like the... The C1997 style of like going in depth on like certain aspects of the game, documentary style stuff, right? News, talking about stuff. There's all sorts of things, yeah. Armando, thanks for the two bucks. After a year or two, I beat 2e2v2. Two e two nice! And now for assemble. It's awesome, Armando. Yeah. Good, uh. You're following in my footsteps by doing that. Uh, cheers. Okay, so the first stream of Digital Ascent has already gone much better than my first stream of Artificial Ascent. I will say that much. However, I'm still inconsistent at a lot of parts in the beginning. I need to get better at the beginning. Much better at the ball. I need to get better at this part. Why do I suck at that part? I'm normally good at flying. That's rough, dude. Ouch. Agrizada, how's it going? You got 28 easy and 2 medium demons, so should I start practice grinding NC? So I can put an egg on 800 plus attempts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you can do Sagamon egg, you can do, you can do NC. I believe in you. That's a good, that's a good little jump. Yes, do that. I'll make you much better at the wave. And other game modes, for that matter. Beginning of Nine Circles is no laughing matter, yeah. Dude, come on. I was too high up. I was reefing on that. I was holding down the button and I couldn't get to the green jump orb. I gotta get better at that part. That part, 
off stream, I'm going to practice that a lot. Oh my god. You started playing GD, you're really bad. Any tips? Uh, Petra, I do have a video on my channel, how to get better at GD. Uh, take a look at that. That'll, that'll give you a lot more tips than I can give you in, like, live on stream. I messed it up, but we got the goal. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't believe I made it to the end of that. And I didn't press the button. I, I just had to press the button out of that last quarter. But the goal is done. The goal was reached. Today is, a, is an overwhelming success. Nice. Anything, I will stream a little bit longer, but anything extra now is just fluff. All right, we did it. Ouch, though, I would have wish I really made that jump. Okay. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Arsenal, thanks for $3, dude. Going for Sunset at first. Uh, for, as a first list, wish me luck. Yo, good luck. Your Sunset is really fun. Really hard looking, though. Okay. Cool. Let's just play the ending just for the lols. Leonard, thanks for the five uh, euros, dude. These are the high five, I should say, too. Wow. The transition into Serpunge is actually a lot harder than it looks. You can transition into it really wrong. You need to be, like, near the bottom of the portal. Otherwise, like, you will not get it. Like, it is, it's way harder than it looks. You can't just go anywhere. Like, you have to be near the bottom. Oh, come on, dude. I'm sucking at flying so bad today. Like, see, that wasn't good. That was near the bottom, but still, it wasn't good. Like, I need to be lower. Because I think I flew up through there. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, it, it was. Okay. I hit. Normally you just buffer that, don't you? So sad. Alexa played Despacito.
Oh, dude, what? Dude, I should be able to do this, like, 100% consistency of this ending part. Which is why I'm doing it right now, to, like, practice. This should be 100% consistency, though. Man, I hate that you gotta spam. Because that's gonna kill me, like, when my nerves are going, like, crazy. I'm gonna have to spam really hard. I don't know if that was a bug, but I didn't... I landed on the platform above and then slid off. Like, I would have died. Dude, that's so weird. Beatable, thanks for the five bucks. It made GDYT shorts, and it's been working very well. 400 subs in a month. That's cool, dude. Nice. That's a lot. I demand a low supply, so just at least we're starting out. Yeah, GD shorts, that's a good idea. And GD TikTok, apparently there's, like, so many people that watch GD TikToks, and I have no TikTok presence whatsoever. I bet there's, like, a bunch of clips of me on TikTok. <laughs> other people have uploaded. Oh my god, dude. I shouldn't die that. Dude, I gotta practice this ending a lot. Which is why we're kinda here practicing it. Because I shouldn't I shouldn't die to that. Like, come on. I shouldn't die to Heinz. So dumb. Usually takes me like three attempts to beat the ending. Here we are. was too high. I know how to fix that. That took way too long. That shouldn't... That was silly. I need to get more consistent than that. That was, that was silly, silly, silly. Okay, um... We're gonna practice back here.
Yikes, dude. Dude, I made it through the transition after doing Devon's. I'm at, you know what? I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at this change title. Ooh, that's right. Ouch. <laughs> Dude, I made it to the end of Etzer from Devon. I made it through. That's the first time I've ever done that, actually. You guys, you guys just witnessed history. Oh, that, that wave is insanely hard, though, and I'm going to start dying there a lot. Jump too early. This is the part I'm going to have the hardest time with. Oh, so early, dude. That last jump, for some reason, sometimes I don't get it. I don't know. I don't understand why I die there sometimes. Like, why? I'm jumping there and dying, but I need to hit. Yeah, okay, I'm holding it, that's why. It's just like a light, friendly tap, okay. Ooh, that's her transition so hard. <laughs> It's so hard. Yeah, this is a start position. I just said, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Oof. because the black spikes they're moving as well it's so hard dude dude i hit the green jump orb it's so big too late. I don't know why I die there sometimes. That's so weird. I'm thinking I'm hitting it too early, yeah.
Ooh. Let's just practice some of the other parts later on the level. Getting sick of practicing this over and over again. Ugh. Oof. My God, dude. Too fast. Okay. I definitely need to practice Etzer a lot. Oh, what? Dude. Walls are magnetized. Why? What? What? Doesn't help that it's like all black and like so hard to see anything that's going on, right? I'm hitting that too. Okay, maybe I gotta wait on the orange jump ring. I'm hitting that one too early, I think. Yeah, I was. Okay. Wow, dude. Oh my god! That's so annoying, dude. At this part is so hard. Although I'm doing the best I've ever done on it, so. It's funny because Etzer's part in Artificial Ascent wasn't that hard. <laughs> but in digital, he's like, well, I'm going to make it really hard now. I'm doing that really consistently, this part here. Wow. I had such a hard time with that. Now I'm not going to get it. I shouldn't have said anything. I want to practice this part here. I, I seem to keep... I usually don't have a big problem with it, but... 
Yeah, those two have to be really fast. Okay. What? But not that fast. Gotta hit them. You gotta hit like the orange one kind of late. Come on, dude. Like, that's so ridiculous, dude. Wow. Oh, boy. Definitely got to practice that, yeah. A lot. And that, too. I mean, that's the hard part, too. Okay. Try a little more. Yeah, this is... It's tough, man. Etzer is just bananas. But I think I'm getting the timings. I just got to practice this. I haven't practiced this enough. Oh, boy. Ah. There we go, geez. Finally. Okay. Okay, let's do uh the run, like from here. Ah, come on. Nice, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just go for the 50%. Let's just see if we can get 50. Let's see if we can get to Edson. That would be sweet. Dude, come on. I was through there. Change goal to 50. Nah. The goal was 45 and we crushed it. Let the world know that I achieved the goal already. I gotta get these lights off my face, they're annoying. Ugh. 
Yeah, they're like way too annoying. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, classic extreme demon setup, which is no lights on the face, so I can just focus a little bit, you know? The lights on the face, the good lighting is really nice. But oh my god, my eyes, dude. Ugh. A superior, thanks for the uh, $2. Good luck in DD, nice. Any extreme recommendations? Uh, it depends on what kind of difficulty you're looking for. Yeah. That's so much nicer. Next stream, I'm just going to start out like this. For sure. Dumb. I'll get a solid 60, 70. Let's not go crazy. No, not gonna happen, but be nice if it took us to Etzer. You trust to beat this level in six hours, starting from zero. That's insane. Like, what a god gamer, man. Oh, my God. Her personal favorite is the down base look. No face lights, epic glasses, bald head. Dude, beanable. Thanks for the five bucks. Might have to bring that back. I mean, I beat Artificial Ascent. No hat on. And I didn't even have my camera in focus. It's so funny. Like, the quality of my Artificial Ascent completion is so bad. When it comes to my camera quality. Oh, Trust announced that he quit YouTube again? Oh, shit. Really? I didn't see that. sucks he's uh i don't know he's really good in the did he like, i thought he was super hyped about it for a while i mean it doesn't say he has on his channel on twitter Dudes, dudes getting like 50k views, 60k views, 30k views, 33k views on his videos. Like, what? Dude, you can like... He's... I, he doesn't have a back... Like, I get a lot of views on my videos just because I have a, like a huge backlog of videos. And so I can do this for my job, right? Oh. Struggling to pay rent. Yeah, I see. Okay. Gotcha. That sucks. Yeah. The thing is, with the way his channel was going, the thing about YouTube and switching to YouTube full time is you can't just like, you can't just switch to YouTube full time and then expect it to be a job for like a year or two. Like, it takes a long time. And the reason why is it takes a long time to get a backlog of videos that are constantly generating views and money. But the thing is, like, he is getting so many views on his videos. On his new videos, like, 30 to 70k views. Like, I get kind of around that amount on my new videos, too. Some of them I get, like, I can get up to 100k, though. But it's just I have a lot of backlog. And so that's how you get a lot of the money, right? And so that's all he needs. He needs to just like pump out a bunch of videos for like a year, like Aeon, get a backlog. And dude, he, he could be killing it. He could be killing it on YouTube. 
It's just you gotta put in like you gotta put in the time, you know. You gotta you gotta put in like a year plus. And then it can be your job. Like, hopefully he can, while he's working, he can work on content creation as well. And so he can eventually change. Because, like, he could easily change it to his job in, like, a year. Like, so easily. With the viewership he's getting now, you know. Oh, man. I should talk to him. Yeah, I've been doing the YouTube game for a long time, you know. Since, like, 2012. And, like, he has such insane potential on the platform. Why would I waste my life on YouTube? Dude, the potential on YouTube is awesome. Like, honestly, YouTube is not for everyone. It's not. 100%. Um, but it is... It's nice. It's fun. You make your own hours. Dude, I wake up in the morning. And because, like, YouTube videos is my job, like, my kid wakes up and I'm like... I live right beside the ocean. Have like a beachfront condo and i'm just like let's go for a walk i don't have to be like i gotta go to work son you know i'm just like let's go for a walk get a snack and go to the beach you know that's it's great that you can do that you can do that if you're a youtuber right I get to spend so much more time with my son because I don't have a normal job. Uh, Ludus, thanks for the PLN. 61% falling up. Nice! Trying my best too. That's awesome. That's a great level too. Really enjoyed it. So, I mean, like... I, w I was a teacher. I was a full-time teacher. Um, but I'm not anymore. I quit... I quit being a full-time teacher in 2015. To pursue my dreams of being a YouTuber. And then I did. And I have taught part-time since. In 2018, I taught part-time. Just because I was like, oh, I want to be a teacher again. I missed being a teacher. And then I was a part-time teacher and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't, I didn't like this. That's why I stopped. So, is my son sleeping? It's 8.42 p.m. right now. I don't think he is. Not yet. His sleep schedule got a little bit messed up. I don't know. He goes a bit late. But he only took a small nap today. Usually takes like a two or three hour like gargantuan nap. But today he took a small nap, so he's probably gonna go to bed early. I don't, he might be in bed already, I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna quit YouTube anytime soon. No. Dude, with 2.2 right around the corner. Ah! <laughs> Cue the laugh track. But with 2.2 right around the corner, I'm excited for like a boost in popularity of this game and to like go super hard on content creation for like three years, at least three years post 2.2. I quit being a teacher to play GD. Yes. Because Geometry Dash currently pays me about nine, eight times more than I was making as a teacher. <laughs> eight or nine times. So, I mean, what can I say? It had to, it had to go, you know? I do teach part-time still, though, a little bit. Like, there's this, there's this businessman that I, uh, I teach. And he's, I guess, like a friend at this point. And he pays me money. Uh, and because he wants to learn English for his company. And I've just t been teaching him part-time since, like, 2012. And I really like him. Like, I don't need the money. But I just really like him and he's interesting to talk to because he teaches me all sorts of stuff about like Korean business culture and stuff. And so I'd like do that, which is fun. I guess that's more of like a hobby than anything. What's my job? Geometry. Ash. It's kind of weird to explain that to people, you know, like the thing is when I'm out in public, 
And someone asked me, what's your job? Are you an English teacher? I'm like, no, because, you know, I'm a foreigner in Korea. So the first thing people ask, are you an English teacher? If they're asking about my job and I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. I'm like, oh, YouTuber. Whoa. What do you do? Do you travel? Do you review food? I'm like, it's not that cool. I play Geometry Dash, <laughs> you know. Uh, mm hmm. So, yeah. I play games, Geometry Dash. And then, like, there was this one time I was at my friend's. He was getting, like, wedding photos taken. And I went there and had lunch with him and his wife. And it was, like, his wedding ceremony thing. He had, like, a small one. And the guys there were like, oh, here, you're a YouTuber. That's cool. Let's put you on the TV. And I was like, oh, don't do that. Please don't put me on the TV. Like, you guys, like, if you if you don't know what Geometry Dash is, my videos, if you don't know what Geometry Dash is and your native language isn't English, I mean, you can enjoy my content without your native language being English, but these people understood, like, zero English, right? Like, <laughs> it's going to be really awkward. Like, there's, you're going to get zero entertainment value out of this. And they just... They just put it on the TV, like me playing Bloodbath, and I was like, okay. Cool, that's me playing Bloodbath on the TV at my friend's, like, these, like, photographers, like, looking at me on YouTube. And I was like, it was just weird, you know? I was like, I'm like a niche guy on YouTube. I'm not like Mr. Beast or something where I appeal to a broad audience where everyone is like, oh, that's interesting, you know? You know, there's some people that can appeal to everybody, right? I'm not one of those people. GD is like a very niche part. So when people are like, oh, I'm so interested. I want to watch your GD video. I'm like, if you don't like Geometry Dash, you're going to find zero entertainment value out of my videos. But okay. Like, sure. So it can be a bit weird. Yeah. It was a bit awkward. Anyways. Enough story time. Let's play a little bit. Am I going to play Poppy Playtime Chapter 2? I don't know. If you want to make some more horror videos, though. For my other channel, which I haven't touched in a long time. Man, the thing that's crazy about my channel... Is... Like, the channel's doing the best it's ever done. Like, now. Like, this is the best March I've ever had. The best April I've ever had. Like, who knows, man? People are like, GD's dying. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not. It's getting bigger. Somehow, with no updates in five years, the game is just the biggest it's ever been. You know? Like, like, I can't, like, my job, like, I'm doing the best I've ever done. Even though I'm, you know, getting up. I'm probably the oldest dasher. The oldest content creator dasher. There's, there's probably people older than me that play. There's a lot of people older than me that play this game. Actually. But I might be the best oldest person. That's right. I, I think I'm the oldest person that has list points. I'm the oldest person that's beat artificial sin. I think I'm the oldest person that's beat bloodbath. Damn. Right? Dude, come on! I just hit the tip and just peek. Aww. Who? Who, bro? A plasma panther. Thanks for the donation, by the way. I missed it. Am I enjoying DD so far? I think I'm pretty. 
I'm a little early on DD to see if I'm enjoying it or not. Like, so far, I've enjoyed learning it. Yeah. Not as much as Artificial Ascent. But I don't... I haven't, like, hated it. I haven't gotten super frustrated with it yet. So, I don't know. We'll see. A lot of people do hate it. A lot of people think that Digital Descent is the worst of the technology trilogy. But there's a lot of people that hate Cybernetic Crescent as well. I feel like it's one of those love-hate things. I've heard a lot of people say that Digital Descent is their favorite demon ever as well. I... I don't know. I'm still early. I don't know where I stand on it. Uh, Ludus, thanks for the 10 PLN. I don't watch you because of GD, but because of you. That's cool. I appreciate that as well. And there are some people like that. Um, but yeah, like, uh, a lot of people watch me just for GD, right? I'm just fine. GD is fun. Have I made any progress on Deadlocked yet? No. On Numas, thanks for the $2, but Deadlocked is too hard for me. early. Ouch. Digital Descent Spicy Pepper Challenge coming your way. That's right. Every time I die, I eat an entire Carolina Reaper. 20,000 attempts later. As I'm, as I'm in my death throes and just <laughs> dying on stream. I feel like I should have never quit my job as a teacher to do this. <laughs> I need better at Nazgub. I thought I was honestly going to be doing much better at Nazgub. I'm actually doing really good at all the other parts of the beginning, but Nazgub. I just got to get a better click pattern now. Ooh, I'm not doing that good now. Hey, bro, can you please try calling me maybe? It's really hard, by the way. Love your videos. Yo, thanks for the five bucks. Call me maybe. Um, I know the song. I didn't know there's an actual level called Call Me Baby. Uh, thanks for the five bucks, though. I should check it out. Trick BD Estra, that's cool. I mean, Trick beats super hard levels. Probably something that's kind of out of my league, right? Why do I suck? At Nazgub. Why do I suck at Nazgub? You know what's funny? Farts. Farts are pretty funny. 
the sound they make. Like, it's just so silly. And then there's also the part where, like, if someone does it and tries to cover it up, like, they look around. Like, did anyone hear? You know, like, just everything about farts are funny. Robot Boy, thanks for the $2 and the cheese. You're gonna have a funny part. The thing about my mic is it's a dynamic mic, which only picks up it only picks up audio directly in front of it. And that's to prevent like any background noise from getting in. So even if I farted, you guys wouldn't hear it. Unless I literally stood up and like farted directly into the mic. Which I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Do it, do it. Well, maybe it's an extremely hard level. It's also pretty fun when you're going to play it. I, dude, I don't, how hard is it? I don't know. Like, I'm playing Digital Ascent as a new hardest, which is 110th on the list. If Call Me Maybe is harder than that, like, not going to be playing it anytime soon. It's top 25. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a top 25 challenge. It's not a top 25 level. Is it a full level or is it a challenge? The full level. Okay. Full level. Cool. Come on. <laughs> well, okay, it's it's something. It's something. We'll take that little boost in get the record. Okay, we'll, we'll take the little boost. 47, why not? You calling me within 100 tries and I'll send you 20. <laughs> dude, dude, you, be, you better be sending me a million dollars for that. For that, like, a miracle. Oh, thanks for the five bucks though, dude. <laughs> You must. Thanks for two dollars. What car do I drive? I drive a Granger, Hyundai Granger, which is a very basic car in Korea. I don't know if there's many Grangers in uh, overseas. Cool, man. Made it past the first part, Dev. Made it to the wave. Devin's wave. It's good. Forty-seven. Nice. We're getting that consistency. It's good. Keep in mind, it took me like three streams to get 50% an artificial ascent, you know? Doing, doing pretty good. I don't know. It took me a lot of streams actually to get to there. I don't know how many, but.
dude, sometimes I just miss it. Sometimes my spider's like, nah. Fuck. Screw jump heads. I'm just gonna go on it but not activate. Who's your favorite Family Guy character? Important Infinity Martian. Thanks for the two dollars. Um, who's my favorite Family Guy? Probably Brian. I like Brian a lot. I haven't watched Family Guy in a long time though. Uh, Gog, thanks for the extra two dollars. Call me maybe now. Uh, thanks for the two bucks, but no, no. Uh, eh. Dude, I was... Whoa, I was really far down. Yo, I'll play Call Me Maybe, uh... If it's a really special level, I'll play it in a video, yeah? Probably that. Dude, make a video playing it in, like, practice mode. Dude, I didn't hold down the button there. Sometimes I feel like I'm holding it down there and then I just don't jump and it's weird. I don't know. Got to Devin again though. Good. That's consistency. We're, we're doing good. Doing good. Today is an ast astounding success for consistency. You know what? Now that we're getting to Devin, why don't we just do a cheeky little practice. Click too late. No, I didn't hold down the button long enough. Because you hold down the button after the yellow jump orb, like, hold, and then that gets you through the first jump. I can do that normal. What am I doing? Please call me. Maybe I'm running out of McDonald's money. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm focused on this. But yeah, maybe I'll make a video for it. Thanks for the five bucks, dude. Uh, Jamie, thanks for the nine pounds. What made you want to move to Korea, if I can ask? Discovered your channel in November. Watched every video since. That's cool. Wow. Thanks for the support. Uh, it, you know, it's it's kind of like an underwhelming... I'm going to be giving a very underwhelming answer. It's just... Uh, in 2008, I moved to Vancouver from my home city in Canada looking to do something in video games. So I started learning to do programming. It wasn't really my cup of tea. I stopped doing it. And then I was, I had a bachelor's degree in marketing and international business. I was like, well, I'm gonna go look for a business job in Vancouver. And that was during like a big recession. And so there were no jobs. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? 
And so I remembered when I was learning Japanese in university. I only studied one year, so I didn't learn that much. But I was like, oh, yeah, there's like you can go teach English in Asia. And Japan is just takes forever to get a job in Japan. It takes forever. The application process to get a job as an English teacher in Japan is like close to a year. It's so long. And then if you get rejected, like what a waste of a year, right? And so I was looking like, what are some other countries that I can maybe get a job in a little quicker? And some of the other ones that were like good locations to go to that popped out to me were South Korea. Another one was Taiwan and Hong Kong. So I applied to South Korea first because they had like a new intake of teachers and I just, I got the job. I was like, oh, I didn't think I was actually going to get the job so quick. Okay. And then I just, I peaced out, you know. And then I got really comfortable and liked it here. So I stayed here for longer. I, di I didn't know much about Korea. Before coming here. Ow, dude. This level's my favorite. It's cool that you're beating it. Good luck on it. Yo. Uh, Zeno has the belt. Thanks for the five bucks. See, that's it. Like I mentioned earlier, there's some people that hate this level, and there's some people that this is like their favorite level of all time. It's crazy how polarizing this level is. Uh, Nitz, you just got 49. Nice. We're close. I just got 47. Beanable, thanks for the five bucks. I missed your donation. Oh, shoot. I probably... Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry, I had... Watching your old streams and wonder if you played the new Celeste chapter. I have played like halfway through it and then I gave up on it. It's, it is really hard, yeah. Really hard. I gave up on it. I was getting frustrated with like this trick you had to do. This like ground slide trick. I just couldn't do it. But I've been meaning to go back. I do want to finish it. Uh, Gog, thanks for the five bucks, dude. What I think about making a Discord server for everyone here? I think it'll be a great way to interact. I actually have a private Discord server for members and subscribers on Twitch. Um, because I used to have a public one. But the public one, it, it got really bloated and it had like six to seven thousand members. And honestly, it was it was like crazy. Like I had a public discord and it was people throwing racial slurs at each other and getting angry at each other. And it was really hard to manage. And my moderators hated it. I didn't like it. Like there, there was some good, though. Like, don't get me wrong. It wasn't all bad. There were there were some really good interactions. It's just overall it was it was so hard to manage. It was so hard and like I just at one point me and the mods mostly me, I just gave up on it. I was like, it's too much. I can't handle it. And so gave up on it, yeah. Um but I have a private Discord for all any members, but it is paid. I know it's behind a paywall. Ooh. Ooh. But uh it's just, it's, it's a tighter knit group of people. There's like, you know, maybe 30 active users and we just like chill. It's, and I'm only on there every now and then, but it's good. I'm just not on social media much these days because I, I have free time. I'm usually like trying to spend time with my kid or my wife. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, the old discord, it went away. It was, <laughs> it was good and bad. Oh, advice on learning Korean harder than Japanese. Uh, well, the writing system is much easier than Japanese. And the speaking system is very similar to Japanese. The grammar is very similar. Almost identical. Skewed, thanks for the $2. Um, it's, they're both hard languages to learn. <laughs> yeah. Japanese might be a little harder just because of the writing. 
Although I do find that Japanese is easier to pronounce than some Korean. Pronunciation of some Korean is pretty tough. So I don't, I don't know. Korean is easier than Japanese. Well, the writing for sure. I mean, 100%. Uh, but I think, like, if you're just comparing, like, spoken language, just speaking, it's very similar, yeah. Um, however, yeah, the writing system in Korean is awesome. It's phonetic. It's like what you see is the exact sound that you make. It does not mess around. You can learn how to read and write Korean in, like, two weeks. Because you just, like... You make a symbol like if it's a g sound, you just write the g, and then the next is like a vowel, o, oh, a, ah, o, oh. and then you just write that, and you make your own symbol. It's like g, all, oh, ga, and like it's just exactly like what you see is how it sounds, and there's nothing that breaks those rules. Whereas like in English, we break those rules all the time, like o u g h. Japanese is also phonetic, but there's kanji, which makes it not. And the thing about Japanese is, like, there's more symbols to learn because, like, when you're learning here, you're going to, like, a-i-u-e-o, kaki kukeko. Like, Korea is more efficient because instead of being like, oh, well, let's make a whole new symbol for ka as opposed to a, in Korean, you would just write a with the a. And then if you were going to write ka, you'd put the k sound before the a sound and you make your own symbol. It's like ka. And so, like, you don't have to learn, like, a whole new set of different, uh, symbols just for, like, ah. Uh, you just put the k ah uh, together and you make your own symbol. So, like, there's only, like, 26 symbols in Korean. And with that, you can make every single sound in the language. It's actually really good. Korean written language is probably the most efficient written language in the entire world. So, some people say. Um, but... Everything else about Korean is batshit crazy hard to learn. <laughs> Holy shoot. Holy shoot, dude. As a Japanese American, it's easier to pronounce but harder to write. Yeah, exactly. That's what I found. Because I've, I've, I only took one year of Japanese. And, you know, I was not, didn't learn much. It's beginner Japanese stuff, right? Um, but yeah, like. Speaking Japanese was much easier to learn than speaking Korean. Speaking Korean, there's some really tough sounds. There's like a consonant, but there's a double consonant sound. There's a difference between like good and good. You know, good, good. It's like, it's like, but you need to know how to do those. You know, really, really hard to wrap your head around. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I would say like it's similar. However, like, if you want to master Japanese writing with kanji, it's going to take you a long time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, speaking... Yeah, someone living in Seoul for four months, even from... Yes, it's... Yeah, speaking is hard. It's, it's hard. Because if you don't say it... People will not understand you if you're speaking with, like, a heavy accent here. They'll be like, what? What was that? You know? Whereas, like, if you're accented in, like, a different language, like, someone that has an accent in English, you can, like, sometimes it can be hard to understand them, but you can still understand them, right? If you're speaking with an accent in Korean, most people here are like, okay, we have no idea what you're trying to say. Uh, please learn how to speak better. I mean, they won't say that to you, but... Uh, Ruby, how's it going? You're just on lunch? That's cool. What are you eating for lunch? Sevap Chichi, I say your name different every time. Thanks for the uh, two pa uh, two euros. Yeah. Now here's the thing about Korean and Japanese. If you learn Korean or if you learn Japanese, dude, you can learn the other language way faster. If you learn Korean, you'll be able to learn Japanese so quick. Hundred percent, because the grammar is almost identical. And some words are even shared because um, they share a lot of history together, right? Like school is hakkyo, hakkyo in Korean. And I think it's, it's the exact same in Japanese. Hakkyo. If I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot, there's a lot of similarities, right? Uh, 
Oh. It's Gakko. Okay, well, it's Gakko. Why did I think it was Hakyo? Jeez, I, I might be thinking of something different. There, there is a word. There, there's some words that are shared, right? Maybe. I don't know, man. There's some, there's some words that are shared, yeah. Uh, dude, Gog, it's no worries, Gog. I mean, it's cool, man. Like, I appreciate those donations, yeah. It's no worries to, it, like, you don't have to feel sorry for requesting stuff. Like, if I just don't want to do it, I'll just be like, oh, thanks for the donation, I just don't want to do it. And it's like, no offense, you know? Like, I'm not, no offense taken, just. I uh, appreciate you for donating, yeah. Oh, dude, I always said that too late. Gakko. Yeah, why, dude, why, why am I tripping out? I'm thinking of something different then. There's, there's a word, something to do with school. Maybe a different building. I don't know, man. There's, a, <laughs> there are, there are shared words for sure in the languages though. Just can't think of any off the top of my head. Used to know a bunch. I haven't really talked about this topic in ages, really. There is a word, actually, that is shared in Japanese and Korean, the word for cool. Like a cool person, as you say. Eric Van Wilderman. <laughs> Good one. That was terrible. It was so terrible, but you guys are forced to listen to me. Oh my God, am I so bad? Regretting spending my lunch here? No! I... It's, yeah, I know why. It's probably because it's a sandwich. I bet you laughed so hard at my joke you spit out your sandwich. And I do apologize. I'll buy you a new sandwich. Yeah, I'm playing pretty bad now. Although, to be fair, I'm not that focused anymore. Oh, ah. one pound 30, 30 piece. Is it called piece? I, I forget what the decimal things are called in, uh, in the UK. One pound 30 piece. I don't know. One pound 30 pebbles. Pence. Okay. <laughs> one pound 30 pebbles. We buy and sell in shiny blue stones. At least it's not shillings. Okay. Shillings. Have I done Zodiac? Yeah, I did. I just forgot to record it. I, I do that a lot. Oops.
Dude, I went up too early. It was just a smidgen. I was on like the right side of that spike. That's that's rough. Uh, Vitamin, thanks for the euros, dude. Thanks for the euro, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a cash-based society. I'm just going to make my own little country. The name of it's probably going to be something like Eric Van Wilderman. And then we're going to have a cash-based society. And we use pebbles. One sandwich, one pebble. If you want to buy a car, that's just... Give me a sack of pebbles. <laughs> a taco for three twigs and two leaves. Just pebbles. Although you could barter with other things. All the men will wear loincloths. Uh, Shinorado, thanks for the uh, $10. When Slaughterhouse? <sighs> I always, you know... With these levels, like, I've already done it. I just, I forgot to record it. Damn, you know? Uh, always happens. Why didn't I hit the record button? I'm so stupid. Yeah, exactly. If, if there's a cash-based pebble society, robbing people will be very hard. Well, I feel like counterfeiting could be pretty easy. <laughs> Come on, just make it there. I thought I was going in there. Have I done Bloodlust yet? Forgot to record that one too, though. Dang. I think I'm gonna stop streaming soon. Three hours is usually the sweet spot, and then my focus starts to wane. As you guys can probably already tell, because we're talking about language and pebbles. Dude, I just couldn't quite make it up there. I'd rather die from going too low than too high, though, because it's really easy to reef up and die from going too high there. I really need to practice that part. I need to get more consistent at that. So, like, off stream, when I do go to practice, I'm going to practice that part a lot. I feel like uh, today was very successful, though. Very, a whole lot more consistent at the beginning. The beginning is, like, one of the easier parts. But even later on the level, there's still some easy parts. Like, Laser Blitz isn't that hard. Like, 60 to 68 or something. It's just like, Devin and Etzer's pretty hard. And the next two parts are kinda hard. But not super hard. Like, Lugaya. I'm way low. Like, uh, yeah, Lugaya, and then Laser Blitz. Not that hard. And then Abstract Dark is really hard. And Kermal's pretty challenging. But not as hard as Abstract. Abstract is really hard. But, so Abstract's like the last, like, big test. And then, you know, it's, you know, I'll, I'll be beating this level sooner than I beat Artificial Ascent for sure. Does that mean that Artificial Ascent is harder than this? Or does that mean I've gotten better at the game? Who knows? But then again, I can't be talking shit like that because... You know, I haven't beaten it yet. 
Like, well, I'll beat it quicker. What if I don't? What if it takes me way longer, you know? Come on, dude. What is up with that? Hold on the button to jump. That sucks. It's another attempt at Devin, though. Clearly, I gotta practice Devin again. Dude, what is up with that? Why can't I jump out of there? Like, by the time I get to that part, I've done the hard parts in Devin. The hard parts in the cube, I should say. Mm. Uh. Uh. Weird, man. Okay. Here's hard to answer. It's a jawbreaker. Depends on who you talk to. Similar, anyways. A lot of people say jawbreaker. I would say jawbreaker has the harder transitions, but nine circles has the harder raw. Wave difficulty. So they, they they test different things. I hit the button too late, I think. And I was through here in normal mode. No, no, I did that. I hit the too early then. Wow. Oh, I almost made it through both. Cool. I'm actually getting way better at Devin and Etzer. Whoa. That's the thing. When I first got to Nine Circles and Jawbreaker, they both took me around 6,000 attempts on 60 hertz in 2015. But I was better at the game going into Nine Circles because I'd already beaten Jawbreaker. So, like, I always thought because of that, Nine Circles for me was a little bit harder. But, you know, who knows? early. I hit the green jumper. Okay. Let's go. See you later, Ruby. Hope you enjoyed my hilarious jokes.
and your sandwich. I messed up the transition into Etzer, but yes! Yo! Okay. 50. Nice. That's good progress for day one. Tell you that. Tell you that. We're getting some consistency. Now. That was nice. Dude, I'm crushed I didn't get that, though. I was hoping I'd fluke that transition first try, but oh well. Cool. 50%. We'll do a few more attempts, but I am going to go soon. It's getting late. To be fair, the first half of the level is pretty chill. There's a lot of chill parts. There's a couple hard parts, but it's a lot of chill. It's just a matter of like getting really consistent at the beginning, right? Dude, I'm way off. <laughs> so low. Ouch. Yeah, 50%. That was great. Good. Great first day. Great day one. Dude, it took me like three plus streams on artificial. I forget exactly how many to get like past 50. Like the first time I got to NAS, got like 50% on artificial. And I shit my pants and I died. Say ICDX has good gameplay? No. Kyle, how could you? That's a one-way ticket to Band Street. Why do, why do I suck at that?
Dude, I, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oof. Yeah, I stream like 5 to 8 a.m. I know, it's, it's I, I've streamed a little bit earlier than I normally do. I should be starting to stream at around like this time right here, right? So that more and more people can get it. I streamed earlier today. I should be streaming at night. Come on, too late. Okay. Darn, starting to lose focus a bit. The mouse do I use? Uh, Siba, I use... Thanks for $2, by the way. And I use the Razer Basilisk V2. Uh, Fury, thanks for the good luck, dude. Pressing that so slow now. Ah, going up too early there. What a mistake. Okay, cool. That's an excellent first stream. We're going to call it quits here. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. And uh, next stream, we're getting past Etzer. That's what we're doing. 
Next stream, we're getting past that, sir. And we're going to start going deeper into the level. I'm just going to get... I know which parts I need to get consistent on. I know which parts I need to work on. I know which parts... I know, I know what I need to practice. I'm going to go practice those parts. So that was fun. 50% uh, on Digital Ascent. That's definitely more than I thought I was going to get today. Didn't think I was going to quite get to Etzer. I thought I was going to get to Devin for sure. Didn't think I was going to get past Devin. We got past Devin. Got to be able to crush Etzer. And then Lugaya. And Lugaya is kind of tricky, but... I haven't practiced Lugaya as much as other parts. I just need to practice more. And then Laser Blitz. Lugaya Laser Blitz, not too hard. I'll be able to do them. And then it's into, like, if I can get enough attempts to Abstract Dart, then we can crush the level. Because it's just a matter of getting through Abstract Dark. And then Kermal's not that hard. It's a little tricky-ish, but it's not, like, hard, hard, like Abstract Dark. Once we start getting some attempts towards Abstract Dark, then we're going to crush the level. So... Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to take me as long as artificial. I'm going to work hard on it. See you guys soon. Thanks for the support. And as always, peace.